Hey, what's up, Internet world? Welcome to Powerverse. I am your host, the Golden Mike from the North, Balamau Power. Now, this podcast was created in response to our pivot against the pandemic COVID-19 impacts. Here, we get to explore creative arts businesses, empowering and inspiring stories from our communities of First Nations people across the country. So I hope you enjoy these episodes. And like we always say here in Powerverse, stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay connected. That's all. Welcome to Power Circle, the platform where we speak to artists, creatives, community members, and businesses. My name is Mao Power, and joining me today at the Black Table, I have Murray Saylor, a proud Zagreb and Samsep man from the eastern regions of the Torres Straits. He is the founder of Tagai Management Consultants, a supply chain and procurement company, and he's here joining me for a yarn. Welcome to the program, Allah. I'm Bala Luk Minayasor, and humbled to be here, so no, awesome, fantastic. Well, it's great to have you on here, man, and look, Love everything you're doing, and today we're going to just have a yarn. You know, give our people out there, you know, an insight of the, the things you do, your world. Uh, but as we do here, the first thing, if I can ask you, Bala, can you tell us about who you are, your background? Sure, my Bala. Look, um, firstly, I just want to acknowledge country, or you employ, you employ, um, you know, obviously, as Torres Strait Islanders, we're visitors, visitors on um, Aboriginal country here. I just want to pay respects to where we're meeting today, um, pay respects to the ancestors, elders, community members, and brothers and sisters. Um, that, are, that you're trying to reach out to in regards to a new will, um, in regards to our journey in SO for you, my Bala. So thank you very much. Um, my background, as you shared, my Bala, and SO for your time, um, is um, uh, families from um, Dunley Island, um, Erub, um, in the Miriam, um, at the Miriam Man, and um, also in regards to culturally, as you shared, um, Samsep, connected to Samsep and Zagreb, both Erub, um, Mayor, Mary Island. Parama, down top, where Opdao Dai, or Papua New Guinea, and also have linkages as far back as the coming, when the coming of the light came to our community, um, back to the Laifu Island, so loyalties, loyalty islands in New Caledonia. Deadly Bala, yes, for sharing. And look, for our listeners out there, there, there is a reason why we always, you know, um, try to um, show our connection, right? So when we can, uh, when we go to different places, we can always show our bloodline go back. So when ballers like us connect, yeah. we suburb where we come from, you know, that, and that means we know where we come from. Sorry, I was going back to my native tongue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my ballam, Tiger Management Consultants. Yeah. The journey, you know, first of all, tell us, tell us about your business. Yeah, sure. Um, look, um, it was a company created in 2014. So it's about 16 and a half years now, Bala. Um, I, um, I suppose I um, bootstrapped, the, bootstrapped the business from a redundancy package. I was working in the mining sector. So I brought knowledge for about 15 years in the public sector and a range of roles within the Queensland and the federal government, um, primarily in regards to Indigenous affairs, housing, policy, program management, and also in regards to um, shared it from um, the experience of serving in the armor reserves um, as a, a private soldier and then end up um, becoming an officer in the, in the army. Um, and then I spent another close to uh, five, five to ten years in the um, private sector um, in regards to the mining sector of so Rio Tinto and Anglo American Coal. And um, came at the end of um, 2014, it was about February, March. And what happened was, um, was this literally got a redundancy package. Um, I'd already been doing the um, Indigenous Business Australia, the IBA yeah, you know, yeah. interbusiness program to ideate the, uh, the the business. The idea yeah. was around procurement supply chain, um, and came out the front door, went down to to reconnect the saltwater people, yes. um, in regards to the business, and always had this idea in regards to the idea the, the idea in regards to um, encapsulating Torres Strait Islander culture. Um, primarily around Tagai and Tagai as um, in regards to for all Pamela the outside and families around around your readership and who's viewing um, is based in the star constellation yes um, and Tagai um, in regards to for that there's a journey in regards to that that's that's happened around Tagai and Tagai in short um, 
for me, I won't go into the actual story and what the method means. I'll let you share from your perspective yeah. because you're such a wonderful orator. No, let's actually just go into it. And yeah, go, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let's unpack it all. But like, yeah, that's, that's yeah, what yeah. we're here for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in regards to um, uh, Tagai, um, the idea of Tagai is obviously around the, um, our um, coexistence with Mother Nature, um, land, sea, our people, in regards yeah. to how we guide. Um, but more importantly, how we use astronomy as indigenous orators and inventors yes. and creators in regards to our own wayfinding leadership through the eons um, of our existence in regards to that region in the Torres Strait between um, Papua New Guinea and Queensland, how we actually um, used um, traditional supply chain um, methodology based around things like tagai, the concept of tagai to bring our communities together and our villages for the betterment of our people. Yes sustainability of our people. So when we talk about today in regards to um, uh, sustainability, we talk about all these terms that people are utilizing. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have been living that stuff for, for thousands of years. Yes, many years. So Tagai is just an epitome, um, is literally just a um, encapsulation of um, what, where creation comes from, how we coexist with mother nature as I shared, but more importantly, what does it mean when we look on top of a star, like up into the sky, and we share with everyone in regards to um, what can be possible. Mm. So our vision for our company is maximizing opportunities to make a difference um, in the global village. Yes. That's social and commercial. We specialize in um, procurement supply chain, business advisory services, stakeholder engagement, um, both here in Australia yes. and I humbly share in the, um, the Pacific region as well. Deadly, voila. Powerful man. When I first heard of your, your company, your name, Tagai, I, want, I knew, right? I was like, hey, stand up, you know, you, you just, it was just powerful. And watching your journey um, has been inspiring. Uh, let's unpack a couple of things about it. First, we, you, you talk about Global Village. For, for our listeners out there, you know, and the people watching this program, let's unpack what's Global Village and your perspective of what yeah. that means. Yeah, so um, obviously, um, as I shared in regards to the business journey, and just as me as, as I learned mine, like I'm just a tourist Rhode Islander just trying to do good is around, um, and it's a journey that we've, you know, it's a conversation we have with as well as, yes. as entrepreneurs and commercial and social entrepreneurs in this space about creating the impact for our First Nation brothers and sisters. Yes. First Nation in the sense of that is Indigenous people, regardless of where you are yes. around the global villages, that the interconnectedness and what we create through technology or through the businesses or through our connections um, within our families um, is not just a domestic journey for us as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Our value is to share that with the rest of the world in the global village. Yes. Um, and from a business perspective, it's just an avenue in regards to be able to bring that community closer together, um, re you know, connecting with other um, like-minded brothers and sisters around the world, not just here domestically. And one of our business values, my bolo, you know, sure we've had we've had this yarn, but um, the piece for me is around um, one of the key business values for us and the, and the Tagai family. And you're part of that family too, by the way. Sir, we'll talk about we'll that. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, is um, is about um, winning locally yes. and and dream globally. Deadly. Is, if, if I can share that, you're humbly. Yeah. No, too good. I mean, I mean that's the perspective. That's the journey we've been on. Yeah. Uh, for for when starting out the business, I, I, I go back to you know that that ethos. Uh, but coming to that point, um, let's go back to a point where when you started the, your this business. When was that 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 defining moment for you to be able to say? This is, this is my, my purpose, this is my mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I suppose, um, I suppose as, as um, when we come up as um, kids or Pitini, um in the Torres Strait, you know, you know we've had this, this I'm like born down here on the mainland, it's a mainland Torres Strait Islander, mm -hmm. um, but we end up, mum ended up taking us back up to, to TI, to, to um, Thursday Island up in the Torres Strait. And we grew up in areas like TI, Horn Island. Yes. Um, and, um, all the way through our dance, how we, we interacted, our family, even our traditions and customs and peace, um, I think it was always there, is all I'm trying to share, is that it's in our DNA yes. as um, hunters and gatherers, but more importantly as seafarers in regards to our wayfinding when we're doing trade in Papua New Guinea, um, with the Macassans in regards to our traditional trade routes. So I think from a DNA perspective and being on the Eastern Island, like we're out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> Hey, we can't just stop there. We have to um, cruise everywhere. You know what I mean? I like to just to make this point. The Eastern Islands, that's where the Great Barrier Reef begins. 110%. That's it. <laughs> um, and there's a couple of big fish that come up sometimes. Big fish. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and the piece surrounded below in regards to the journey, I suppose, um, as a mature age student, um, I had an opportunity um, through a current employment. Um, I was working for the Australian Taxation Office, the ATO, 
Okay. The, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Um, is um, we um, uh, I got an opportunity to go through as in a full time scholarship. Um, first, I'm one of the first Indigenous um, brothers and sisters to get it, and I was um, doing business. I did a bachelor of business, and um, first year subject um, business 101, um, introduction to business, and one of the um, the key assessment processes for it was um, um, creating a business plan. Yes. Yeah. So my business plan, but I still got it. That was the first business plan. Yeah, that was two thousand. That was two thousand. That was two thousand one. Wow. What, what, why keep your first business plan? Like, what, what, what's the significance of that for you? Um, in regards to, I suppose, us when we, um, from from a, from a um, from the background of coming and we sh we share this um, uh, this for in regards to hurricane lamp. You know, you play, wow. we grew up where Sunbis, where we're in the beach and the water, and there were no shower. We, our, our shower was the bath in regards to the water, and came out. You got ginger tip hair and. Oh uh, yeah, okay, but, um, um, <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But but in regards to the, one. <laughs> <laughs> but the piece, um, but the piece for me, um, in regards to the whole journey is, um, it's always there, you yeah. know, um, and um, yeah, but I was just um, and and um, and I share humbly. I, I'm sure I share, um, you know, um, in regards to the pieces around um, encapsulating a journey to market and time in regards to um, light bulb moments. Yes. Um, we meet the right people. Um, we um, have paths. We have a, you know, we come to a divide and go, okay, this way, this way, mm -hmm. or this way. In regards to, for us as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, that's a, that's a conscious thing sometimes. Yes. So the business plan when I created that was part of one subject, my first subject in, when I was doing a Bachelor of Business. And what it did was a milestone moment in regards to it made me first think about entrepreneurship yeah. and what potentially how I could give back to my community, my family, my kids all that particular piece, but more importantly, what I could give back as a legacy to the, the journey I'm on, the knowledge that I think is no good for me. Like, you, we, you know, you may have that yarn, yeah. in regards to that our knowledge is no good for us. It's about how do we actually um, change the dynamic around um, intergenerational um, transcendent um, inheritance. Yes. And so the why I kept it was to mark it in time, but also be able to benchmark it when I credit. So it was Taylor Consulting, it was called, and I'm not very original. Um, but in regards to the, the whole concept around it was a consulting, it was always going to be a service delivery model. But what I did was also within that document, it also encapsulated the, the gaps in regards to, I thought, in my own as a leader, a leader in a sense of business ownership. Yes. And what I thought that I needed to fix up in regards to, I wanted to refine as a leader, as a business owner and the skills I wanted to come out to the market, but that was eventually going to happen. Yes, yes. If that makes sense. That does make sense. Now, there's a man, we could go so. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to ask as much as I can in the time, but I don't wanna keep you here like, you know, too long. But I just believe that, the, like, the reason why we created this platform here, the Power Circle, dining at the Black Table, was to hear the experiences and, you know, hopefully drop some gems with people out there who's gonna be watching or listening this, to this. We'll be able to take something away and yeah. empower them on their journey. Yeah. I mean, that's the purpose of what I believe we do in right. business, and that's why our paths are crossed. Um, but, with that business plan, let's go back to that, and I, I'll, I'll drop it in um, every if I can make a note. And you guys are gonna like I'm organic with this, so everything that we see in the background, I'll get you guys to see it out there in um, in internet world as well. <laughs> so um, what the, the business plan, we'll drop links about you know uh, people to direct them to business plan. Anybody who is aspiring to be a, a a small business or a sole you know entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that that plan, the information that went in there, how much of that still uh, is, is still um, you today, the first document, and how much has changed? Um, I suppose the, um, um, the evolution in regards to life and also in business ownership, right, and entrepreneurship, the idea and the aspiration. Um, there's a, a really great mentor of mine that shares um, the concept of hope and aspiration in regards to where you're trying to achieve in your life. Um, is it, it probably encapsulates the intent of creating how culture, Torres Strait, indigenous culture, infuses into business. Maybe. Right? If, if that hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. So that was 2002, Bala. Yeah. I started the business in 2014. That never changed. And I had that idea because, and I go back to culture and from the old people that we've grown up with, and we've grown up with a lot of family together, you know, same people. Yes. Different journeys. Is that there's that intertwine in regards to our pathway one. Yes. And the big piece in regards to that um, the business plan as well is around the, the concept of the, the, the key steps of understanding strategy around business strategy. A business Normally we see our business plans and it may be um, 20 or 30 pages long. I have team members that do that, that like create these things. Yes. As, you know, us as bosses, we must just throw that, the work down, right? So it goes downhill. 
But in regards to the work, um, probably the idea, and I always had it in my mind, we know we live and breathe business, mm -hmm. is go, I need a vision. Why am I doing it? I need to own it. Every day I need to get up. I need to be, in, I need to be passionate about what I want to achieve. Yes. I need to be aware of my customers. I need to know, understand what I'm, my services, what I'm going to provide. What's my point of difference? And finally, in regards to it, how am I going to make money from it? Because yep. if you don't okay. make money, how do you create the good? Right? Hey, we got no shame right? in that, man. <laughs> you know, without, you know, because it's value exchange, yeah. without that value of money coming in, yeah. you know, it's very difficult to be able to you know, yeah, yeah, invest yeah. and try yeah, to create so impact. Sure. Right? Yeah, but to go, man, you said 20 to 30 pages business plan. But my, my, I, my first business plan was a five pager. Then I developed it. It became an 80 pager document. Yeah, right. It was I, I, exactly, I asked myself that question. <laughs> it was so complex that I didn't even understand my own business. Right, exactly. Right, so I, I stripped them back to a one pager. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> and I think, um, in regard, I think there's a, if I can um, share, a, I think you've shared a really important gem is that um, the, the business plan, in regards to, and a lot of businesses, do you need a business plan? Mm. Some instances in regards to what you're doing as a service or providing a good, yes. all, all you need to do sometimes is just have the passion. Yes, yes. You know, how many of our brothers and sisters in the, in the global village, not just here in Australia, start an idea in regards to, hey, I can, I can paint, mm. um, I can draw, um, I can dance, but go, what could I do with that? The piece is sometimes the business plan definitely need in regards to if you're gonna seriously go into business. Yes. But if you have, if you, if it's in your mind and you live and breathe it as an entrepreneur, when you once you really encapsulate the idea of business ownership in its in its purest form, is that all you're doing is actualizing a passion. That that gem right there, actualizing a passion. A passion that is that's powerful. Yeah. Once you get that understanding, those are the moments, right? Those light bulb moments we talk about. Hundred percent, Bala. Um, and if I can just add this a little bit more, is oh. that whether it be thirty pages. Um, some of the best um, business plans I've ever seen in a guide, because obviously we do business advisory as a service, is one page. Mm. I did a business plan below with an Aboriginal elder, and I can't show his name, um, um, that uncle be passed away. But um, the business plan by him was on a piece of bark. Wow. And the business we created wow. had no currency. It was barter. It was utilizing uh, traditional trade practices to create because he couldn't read or write. Yes. And instead of going, I'm going, well, do you have um, sons? Do you have um, nephews? Do you have grandchildren? He goes, yeah, they can, be there. They can do that. Yes. Your gift is, in regards to your passion, it outsource that, you do this. I met this man, drove, into, um, drive down a, a dirt track, Bala. Mm -hmm. My business meeting was under a gum tree in a campfire. We had a porcupine where we tracked there um, on a thing. And we literally idated in regards to and, and created his business. His business plan, I created on a piece of bark. And he was like, then I'm going, no, no. The, the bark was obviously good enough for me to be able to write yes, on. Yes. But in regards to it, I wanted him to understand that I understood what he was trying to achieve. Yes. And the other piece I want to share around the business plan is that if it makes sense to you and you drive it, and that, cause the story, if you can tell the story and know that you're going to be, have that passion and peace, the client will, 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 will absorb it. Yes, yes. That's powerful, but that's proper grassroots there, man. Uh -huh. Being able to go back to the, uh -huh. the, the, the traditional way, creating a piece of bark. I'm that's saying. amazing. Powerful, powerful. Um, but uh, while we're touching on that, that, that's a part of what Tagai Management Consultants does, right? You, you work with businesses. If you can explain, go in, a bit in, yeah, uh, sure. in depth with that. Like yeah. the things that you do, um, deliver value that you give to sure. other businesses and other people. Yeah. yeah. Um, look, in regards to the, 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 when I first started, if I can just share in regards to quickly the, the business journey uh -huh. and the approach, I think, um, I think but there's... If I may, I, I just have to be clear. You, you'll hear us speak in uh, Creole. Yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. when I say wa, and I'm going to educate everybody on this, wa <laughs> means yes. And uh, Bala, his brother. So just if you hear those terms drop, just we're just getting comfortable in this yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, is um, I started the the business as I shared um, Bootstrap, but in the piece I just want to take up the share is that people are so hung up in regards to government processes around capability development, um, how to tender, um, getting grant support, um, getting grant support for a plethora of things mm -hmm. in regards to um, Indigenous Business Australia as a startup funding, all this piece. Um, to drive the passion, I, like I shared, I did the redundancy package. Yes. There wasn't much money, um, but the piece in regards to where the journey went, I, I decided to go, what could I do with no money? Yes. So I went, with zero money, oh, man, this what, could, what, what, what could I create? So within that, I knew that as a sole trader, when I came to legal entities, so that means we don't, you know, around tax stuff, 
um, is, um, I knew, well, $30, $40. Mm. Cool. Um, I went online, um, and I really wanted to really um, understand how to create the elements of a business and the marketing, all that particular piece. So created my own, went into Vistaprint. Yep. Um, looked at um, uh, different um, types of um, websites. Um, really, really absorbed the idea. I mean, a really tough way of doing it without the support, but I really wanted to share with brothers um, and sisters, both Indigenous and non-Indigenous in the global village, mm -hmm. no matter what the reach was, was that sometimes the hindrances in regards to the business support you receive because you're listening to a, how to set up a business at the perspective of someone else. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want that. I, want, I, I knew that I had, I had not enough knowledge um, and enough now, right? It's about valuing the value. Yes. Right? And I, mean, I know Speak we... Well yeah, 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 yeah. In regards to uh, where your journey is, no matter where you come from and your background, whether it be a traumatic, as a single... My mother was a single parent. Um, we tra went through a lot, a lot of challenges. But when you actually... The light comes on and understanding what your value is to you first, identity and culture to you, um, and, um, and to the thing, you're, 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 you're valued. You value yourself. You can't value yourself. You can't share the product. Very true. So, um, and the other piece, Bala, if I can share, and um, um, apologies for, for no, no. taking your time, but... No, no, that's, the, that's what this platform is here yeah, for, yeah, to be yeah, able to hear yeah. this. And, 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 the, and the big piece here for me was, um, was that I needed to be able to walk the walk yes. and talk the talk to First Nation people. Yes. So I did a lot of pro bono work. I, Bala, I was, I was, yeah, and I also didn't tap into the mining sector procurement world that I was into, because I really want to experience in regards to the experience of doing business development. And, and on hindsight, I wish I would have done it a different way because after three months, it was, yeah. it was, a, hard, it was a hard struggle. Yes. And then the last piece, if I can share, is I decided in regards to the business strategy, um, which was encapsulated in the business plan, by the way, was that I wasn't going to go to government yes. as a client. Yes. Right? That's, and for everyone goes to me now, and we've, you know, we've, I know we've had a number of discussions with a lot of our brothers and sisters, is um, a government. Yes. The government, uh, you got opportunity there. But the, because where I came from, when I, it was purposeful, I shared with you, the business plan was created in 2002. One of the things was, I never wanted to have government go, because I wanted to break the, the concept of social welfare mentality independence. Yes. It's a deficiency. It is. How do we create, we create efficiency. We create sustainability, but we have to challenge ourselves. Tough, tough journey. Um, and where we are now in regards to Tagai Management Consultants, if, if, by doing that, people are going, Murray, you're crazy. Yeah. Why, why are you doing it that way? It's a really, really hard. It's a hard push. But valuing the value, I knew it. 2002, I knew culture could be infused. Torres Strait culture could be infused in business practice. Didn't know what the business practice was, though, Bala. I was going through first year um, of the degree. Um, but what ended up happening was stay true to it. And yeah. Bala, sometimes, um, every day, I mean, there was some, I mean, it's a roller coaster ride. Business is a roller, it's not easy. It, easy to set up, hard to manage, to drive. And what ended up happening was, um, was this doing facilitation initially? So I had to unpack the idea of procurement and supply chain initially. Um, because um, the, the idea around procurement and supply chain management um, in the sector, so the indigenous procurement policy, the federal government's policy hadn't come out then. So I was coming with something that was, the market in bits and pieces knew about, but in depth, the process and what it means, it wasn't, it was, wasn't, wasn't there yet. So yeah. I unpacked the whole thing because we pivot, right? We yes, have to pivot. yes. And as um, our real talk time, first, first, yeah, first, <laughs> first Nation people, um, we have to, we've been flexible. We're able to unpack things, repack things. Yes. But the idea of Tagai is, is that it's, it's a star. It's this, the star constellation. It's just about one star. Yes. But in regards to it, so you can do your services and all this particular, but in regards to the intent, the vision was never missed. The value was created in a different way. It would reshape, it reimagined, it was redefined. And fast forward, what happens is, and just by being good people, Bala, you know, you're, in regards to your, you know, your art practice, you as the hip hop artist, and yeah. no, no, you, you, you and my Bala, we go back way back, and a lot of our other brothers and sisters, these are all, um, mentors and stuff for me, but our old people as well. You know, Uncle Koiki Dumpler, yes. Mr. You know, Mr. Mai, um, a lot of our leaders that are up in the Torres Strait right now, and also Aboriginal brothers and sisters and uncles that are, and aunties that are down here. Yes. So today um, we're um, uh, we're working with clients, um, and I share once again. I'm, not, I'm humble to be able to share this and have being able to share people, um, being able to build a brand, and we're working with. Um, 
Microsoft. Fantastic. Right? That's, that's so Sunbiz boy, you play from Sunbiz. And in regards and you're around, I know, and this is another thing in around going is and I love this, is that what, what you're doing, Bala, and other brothers and sisters is around celebrating the success. We should value the value and be able to share that. I find I find that hard yeah. for myself, be honest. Um, because he's same, you know, you put shame, shame thing in a good thing for them kind of thing. But in this the world we have to be Yeah, that's people right. Always yeah, always humble ourselves. Well. Yeah. Um, and um, so we work within a, what we say at the T1 space, which means a very senior, like it's very, um, the big end of town, the corporates. Yes. Um, and, you know, we've had opportunity to work with, um, with a number of businesses, corporate businesses. Um, I'm not saying that um, we haven't worked with government, the family, the Sagai family hasn't worked with government, but in regards to where our opportunity has been, um, well, uh, um, 80 to 90% of our work in six and a half years has not been from tenders. Yeah. I remember you telling me that that's, that's, that's quite an achievement. Yeah. Most people believe that that's the, that's the avenue and route you have to I'm go. But I'm procurement yeah. too, by the way. So that's, I'm going, you need to tender. Like you, need to, you have to go through a process. But that's, that's the point of valuing the value, right? Exactly. Because once you understand your value and you'll be able to present that, because as entrepreneurs, when people look at it, they don't um, buy into your services, they buy into you as a person. Uh, and being clear and defined in that, separates everything. I'm going to say, but like, you know, with all the music and everything that we did, yeah. creating these platforms, yeah. it was about just doing that. So was, this, was it the story? It was a story that, um, that drove you in regards to the motivation around you were sharing, not obviously the brand and the product for yourself yes. and not for myself and the, the alignment here, but the story is important. Very important. Because we're not just um, First Nation um, businesses, we're First Nation enablers yeah. in business as social and commercial um, enablers, but the other piece were orators. We're, we're naturally oral people to be able to share um, and orate our story. And I, I think that's, yeah, that's Dalibala. And around, you know, anyway, you know, I blow for you all the time in regards <laughs> to hip hop stuff. You. I have to get an autograph after it too, so. Uh, <laughs> well, that's, like, um, I, I want to thank you for, um, you know, mentioning it, like, you know, celebrating our people. Like, that's the, for selfish reasons, that's the reason why I created yeah, this. Really, really. It's simply because for many years, um, traveling, you know, doing what we did in entertainment, in production, in film, and all that, I, there wasn't a point I remember, I can't, I can't, can't remember stopping celebrating those moments. Yeah, right. Like, you know, we're going to talk about our, our, our partnership and how we celebrated that, but this year now, it, it, it took um, COVID to happen to me, forced me to stop and think about, yeah, right. hang on, we got to stop and celebrate the, these milestones and things and really look at, you know, brothers and sisters like yourselves out there working yeah. and um, say that we see you. Yeah. Uh, we, we admire the work that you do and then give a yeah, platform for them to be yeah, able to go because it's a lonely road, brother. You know, when yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and yeah. I think you know, being an entrepreneur, and I, I, I'm sure you can agree with this, uh, there's, a, there's a certain level of um, uh, a certain ethic that we come with, uh, a certain level of um, madness probably about the, the, type of, the type of work we do and the commitment that we have, yeah. but it's also a certain level of um, loneliness that separates everything. Wow. Uh, so, well, if I can ask a question. Yeah. Um, um, what's risk? What's risk? What's risk? What's, <laughs> risk? What's, what's, what's risk to an entrepreneur for you? What's risk? Oh, great question. <laughs> Man, what's risk? Risk as an entrepreneur for me is allowing doubt to persuade my vision. Uh, so I, I don't leave um, any room or margins for to be able to let that negative um, energy come in. Yeah, right. Once my mind is set, it's, it has to happen, and and by any means necessary, any way necessary, I will get to that point. Uh, and allowing external influences to sway my decision then forces me to then, then creates the environment where I start questioning and doubting myself. Wow. That's risk. Yeah, yeah. For, for me, that same question for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so risk for me. In, um, first of all, I suppose. And look, I don't, I don't disagree with what you're sharing. I think um, um, when you understand the value of your value. Yeah. If I can go back to that that term, and I share this um, to, to to all our brothers and sisters, no matter what they are. Um, two things is that risk. For me as an entrepreneur, um, obviously I have, as a business owner, very, very mindful in regards to those um, um, uh, westernized ideas in regards to commercialization around, I need to, I need to pay the bills. Yes. Um, I need to pay my taxes and all this piece, but risk to me in regards to opportunity risk, there is no risk. Yes. Because I'm the master of my own ship. I'm wayfinding okay. to my own journey. Um, and that is, is that um, with brothers and sisters, this is what comes around in regards to the support mechanism. I know we've had this discussion as well, Bala. Mm. It's not just about the, the mechanism in regards to our team, but also the people that we can lean on to have the, the, the frank yarn. Yes. Man and Oman, you know, men and women, brothers and sisters, 
no matter where you come from, everyone adds values to each other. Yes. Um, and entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship is not in business ownership as well. Our business owners are mothers and fathers. Very true. Our business owners are community leaders that are out in the community that's doing good. They're entrepreneurs. And sometimes they're better than us. Yeah. If I can share that. Yeah. Daily, no, thank you for sharing that. Man, there's so much things to um, yeah. I'll try, I will try to speed this one along, but the young can go like all day. We can, um, I don't know if the camera guys are getting you know, excited about this or they need to take a seat. But <laughs> So we're going to go into, but first of all, like, sure. I want to add on to what you're saying there. You know, the mindset of a, an entrepreneur is, I believe, a creative mindset yeah. where we have um, the ability to create something out of nothing. And that's, I think, a powerful sentiment for an well, entrepreneur to understand. Yeah, like now, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, 100%, um, as I shared earlier in regards to the passion that drives you around the idea, it's from an idea that a seed, right? The seed creates the tree. How you nurture and create um, on that seed. Um, some people are good gardeners. Yes. Um, they're able to, um, like I shared, business is really easy to get into the register in regards to, and there's a lot of systems out there that help you to do that. Yes. But in regards to how do you nurture that to, it for, to become a flourishing tree or whatever that, that you know, that analogy but in regards to the, the whole journey, it's, 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 it's tough. Yes. It's tough, Paula. It's, 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 it's an evolving journey. It is. Yeah. And that's what I like about it. It keeps it exciting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, the, and, never and, 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 the, and the whole other piece is, is that um, the learning never stops. Absolutely. Right? We're masters of our own. But the one thing I came into business, I'm going back to that point, my baller, and I'm sorry to... The thing about the, the big for the, the big for me, I had to pivot in my own thought process to break down a barrier. Yeah. Not to use business as a way of getting out of the, um, the thinking in regards to it, but being able to be, um, to stop coming out of an employee mindset. That, that. Yeah, and you know yes, what I mean. I know what you mean, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice share that, Bala. What do you think? Bro, I, I started my business, uh, introduction to business when I was like 11, 12 years old in right. crayfishing, right? So we were sole traders mm -hmm. back then working mm -hmm. with the old man, but I never understood what business was at that time. Uh, uh, and... I had that same employee mindset. I was, even though I was a sole trader working in the crayfishing industry, I had the idea that the buyers who's buying the crayfish, they're, they're kind of, they're, they're my employers. Yeah, right, right. And this, this cycle took a lot, many years to break out of. When I understood the fact that um, what a business is and what a business can do, yeah. it changed, changed the whole mindset. And I tell everybody, I built um, OBHI on these platforms using the principles I learned with crayfishing yeah, right. in the seafood industry. I just transferred everything, the whole knowledge over. Uh, but it is that mindset and it, it, it's, it's something that um, still exists. And when we talk about the dependency stuff, we're going to go into this now because I want to touch on the world of um, the IPP, the Indigenous Procurement Policy. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, you shared something very interesting about that and your perspective of it. Yeah. Um, most people, I've heard of it, um, like th these terms and what it is like, very genuine, broadly, sure. like, you know, I, I've never dived into it because I never understood what it is. Nobody yeah. could clearly define that for me and how does it benefit uh, a, a business. Yeah. Um, but I want to get your thoughts on that because you said something very interesting that relates to this, this yeah. dependency mindset. Yeah. Yeah. So can you tell, sure, break that, sure. unpack that one first? Yeah, 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 sure. Um, so the indigenous, obviously the indigenous procurement policy for all, Bala, you know, Bala's and Sisi, but you me, brothers and sisters, um, no matter where they are. Um, is a policy that was created in 2015 um, by the government, by the Australian government, um, to create um, economic development opportunity um, of, as an avenue in regards to the thought was around um, the intent, one of the intents of it, one of the ideas around it was um, how if you, um, the belief is that small business as a cornerstone to any commercial society yes. um, is the biggest sector. Right, the, the micro businesses, yeah. the mother and fathers, the, the businesses like us. Yes. Um, if I can share that very humbly, and it's not going to be small for much longer. But um, the piece in regards to the indigenous procurement policy was um, assigning a percentage um, quarantine opportunity for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander businesses yes. to be able to access as a as a real opportunity by the government. Yes. So, mm. by who? The government. Right. Is that by corporate? No. No. Um, so within that. So when we look at, when we spoke about social welfare dependency or yep. Centrelink or for our, you know, for the aunties and uncles around social, you know, social security, them, them kind of time. Yes. And those times um, is, um, there's an entitlement piece. I'm going to get a pay every fortnight, right? So one of the things that us as entrepreneurs, and I know we've had this yarn a number of times about breaking that, the, 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 the idea in regards to that um, I'm, I'm, I'm entitled um, I'm meant to get paid everything, and I expect that every fortnight. Wow. 
Yes, yes. Right? And with the indigenous procurement policy, and this is just so our brothers. The that, yeah. yeah, and I see the parallels within that. So the, the opportunity in regards to giving you a hand up, 110%. Centrelink's payment does exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. They say, oh, no, it helps us live. No, 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 no. It gives you a hand up to be able to meet your cost, to be able, for you to be able to function as a normal Australian. Yes. The IPP is exactly the same thing. It's giving you a hand up, but who's giving it, Bala? The government. Right? So... In my thinking and how I see it, it's another way of look. Are we still dependent? Yeah, yeah. So, what so you say it could be detrimental to businesses. I guess. Oh, what, no, what's, no, no, what's no, that yeah, yeah, yeah. In regards to not, not necessarily a detrimental, but in regards to our mindset of some businesses and, and businesses that are out there, this comes back to your vision and mission of what you're doing. So I can't say for Bullers and Sissy and like ourselves go, hey, you must, you have to do this. Yeah. You should be doing this as a yeah. black business. We have that, you know, we have that a huge dialogue. Which we don't, we just share perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. In regards to um, what are you doing as a, as a, not just as a business, but as a black business. So we, we are already putting a hold on ourselves. Yeah. But what are we? We're businesses. We're a commercial entity. We're the social, whatever the, you know, not for profits. But we need to change the mindset from welfare dependency. But the indigenous procurement policy, the IPP, in a really, really crazy way, is still social welfare dependency because who's providing the opportunity? Exactly, the government. Right? The piece that we need to do and evolve with in businesses like ourselves, and this is stuff that we do when we work, we've had opportunities to work with really wonderful, um, both government and just clients um, and brothers and sisters as well, is go through, the, through action. Yes. Don't talk. How do we change that for ourselves? So the maturity in our business sector around the IPP is, yeah, that's great. Tagai doesn't... Like, I don't get direct, like, we don't, like, we haven't, there's no, there's no opportunities as, like, we've, that we access to get IPP yeah. revenue. Like, we don't, we haven't gone into that bucket of funds because one of the things around the business values is, is about maximizing and making a difference. The way we make a difference, based on what I share as Tagai, is about being different. Yeah. Why? Because the opportunity risk that I've identified as an entrepreneur and this, that's based on our traditional systems, is that I can create opportunity in another way for our people. Get it. That's the entrepreneurial mindset, to be able to see the things that can't be seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, see, we say it in the third I eye. I don't know if that makes sense. No, it, it made sense. sense. Yeah. I look, I, there's a lot of questions I want to get through, so I will try to move this one along because I want to get to the main points. Yeah. I'll ask one question, though. This one from my team member, Jack. Okay, he's in the background there. So, um, yep, this question he asked me, he wanted to yeah. ask. Yeah, <laughs> it, it wanted to ask from a, um, uh, a student perspective. Now, you've, you've um, graduated with a degree in uh, business management, yeah? Yeah, sure, sure. yeah from JCU, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, in business, how much, um, from a university perspective and someone who's studying that, you know, going through studies to be in that world of business, how much of what you learn applies to what you do today? And how much, like, yeah, those things, uh, the parallels from being able to learn from an institution and apply it in real-life context? Yeah, yeah. Um... Um, there's a yarn that I share about, and there's a really great book, and I'm more than happy to share with you, Bala, um, around um, superpowers. Yes. And, um, I love the language we spoke about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in fact, and I, and I, you'll understand where I'm coming with this, is that um, I share this, I've shared this uh, motivational speak to um, young brothers and sisters and their families, mother and, mothers and fathers. Um, and I apply it to business, and it's always been something that when, I, when it clicked for me, it really, really doesn't make sense, and I feed it to, to the kids. Um, is that um, people go, uh, uh, university, um, can't study, I don't, want to go for, I don't want to go to a shoot, the assessment, um, the group work, um, I have to be out there, I have to be on a Zoom meeting, um, all this piece, and it's tough, right? So life is tough. Yes. So it prepares you, and also school prepares you to enter life, right? But the other thing I share, and um, we had this yarn, is around going both, uh, secondary, primary education, the, the, the journey you come with your family and into university around the, the content that you are learning yes. is to find what? It's to find your superpower. Yeah. Your superpower, because you do a business degree, are you meant to go into business? No. No. Um, doing a, a degree, um, how many people that we know have gone into one avenue it's the skills that you create. It's the superpower. It's the tool belt. It's the toolbox yes. that you come out with. What you do with that toolbox exactly. is what is up to you. So in regards to the, what it did was when I went to, the um, thing was the piece of paper um, gave me in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a westernized world um, license to operate at a higher level is the perception. 
Mm. But with an entrepreneur, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But in an entrepreneurial mindset, did I need the piece of paper? Mm. I didn't need the piece. I don't need the piece of paper. Like I shared with you, an OP yeah. person in you what his business idea, and we, we've, we've provided that impact yeah. around the influence, is that our best business people sometimes don't have no piece of paper. Yeah. It's what you do with it that makes sense for you around exactly. valuing the value. Yeah. yeah. So if the person understands we're going into that situation, the value that they want out of it, yeah. uh, then it's for them. Yeah. Like I share this, and probably this will probably spin people out. Yeah. Like I went to you know the University of Southern Queensland yeah. to study to become a mechanical engineer. Yeah. Then I ended up really? being a rapper. <laughs> Look at, well, I'm, yeah, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> a funny story. I, I, that, my um, my I, plan and idea to become uh, a mechanical engineer was inspired by a hip hop movie. Which one? Higher Learning. Oh, Deadly! Higher Learning, you're bad. That show, I was oh, like, oh. Respect, respect. They're like, you're, you're going to go to university. What do you want to be? Uh, yes. Okay, I'll take mechanical engineering. Let's just do that. Yeah. But it was funny because that led on to sound engineering, which then I met a few people who taught me how to build home studios. Yeah. And then I just was able to do that. Like, I left. Like, after two years, I'm like, this this, this journey is not for me. I got to follow this path. Because but you must have taken action. something away there. Yeah, absolutely. What was it? Um, the, the discipline of uh, being able to uh, commit to something like I what I the, actually the key thing that I took away from that experience was I went to university for the wrong reasons. It wasn't my vision. I was you know, going to be the first for my family to go to university, yeah. you know, yeah. carry the Mao name uh, going down there and we would make mom and dad proud. Uh, when I got there, my, you know, after 12 years of schooling, you know, my mindset was there. I was young, uh, you know, a young um, guy experienced the world. Yeah, 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 and bro. when I got into it, my focus wasn't as, as passionate as what I thought it was. So I was doing it for the reasons that it was not external. It was external to me. Yeah. And then when music came along, it was like, oh, it was always there. That decision wasn't difficult for me. I'm like, I got to go where my heart goes yeah. and follow that journey. And that's, that's too deadly. we end up here. Yeah, too you deadly. Know? And back to um, like, well, like Brother Jack in regards to the journey um, on, on what he's doing in regards to business. I go back to the, is, is, is that a degree doesn't mean you have to do the degree. Yes. Degree just gives you some tools that you can apply. And most of those you've already got because you've been formed as a piece of clay with your family. Yep. Um, but also the decisions you make as, a, as an individual. Yeah. No, deadly, deadly. Right? That's a, that's a piece of gem there for our listeners out there, uh, and I'm sure, like you know, if people got comments and everything. They can. This will be on social, so ask questions, oh, I, and I'll pass it on to this guy right, to try and answer for me. I mean, actually, DM this guy. Go into his. Uh, <laughs> Flood is. Ask him any question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna get to the important question, my brother. I want to um, cover is. Why are we here? We'll talk about our partnership. Yeah, sure. This this recent because we're celebrating that right yeah, now. Yeah, sure. um, you want to unpack that one for our listeners out there? Yeah, sure. Um, so, well, what? Literally, when am seventy two hours ago? Seventy two hours ago. It was literally about that. beginning of this week, right? <laughs> yes. So about risk and opportunity. Um, so um, around that, we've signed an MOU between uh, One Blood Hidden Image Entertainment yep. Group and Tago Management Consultants um, to us to be able to collaborate. Where, so, yeah, it, where, it fits, that. <laughs> where, it, where it fits in regards to the, the journey to create social and commercial impact for our communities um, in the global village yes. um, for brothers and sisters. It drives in our communities because we know we're very, very passionate um, brothers, but also in regards to it's about inspiring um, other brothers and sisters to, to do the, exactly the same thing. Yes. Like-minded values, right? Um, strong businesses know exactly where we're going in regards to strategy, know the value mm -hmm. around it, um, but the most important thing is, um, the, in regards to our, obviously, and I'll, I'll, I'll feed off in regards to your energy, um, and this is a discussion that we had over the last couple of days, is go, but our journey is not through your music. No. I think it's important to share that, that once again, when you talk about skills and stuff, it's about value systems, embracing our knowledge systems as brothers and sisters and entrepreneurs, because we're not westernized entrepreneurs. Yes. The bigger value is not in the knowledge, it's, yeah, it's a plus. But if we aren't like-minded in regards to the values and what we're trying to drive and trying to change generationally for our young people and our own kids and our families, um, which, is, which, was, which was what excited me and I shared with, in regards to the MOU and um, families um, that are, like, are t tying into this, um, break down the barrier, collaborate with like-minded um, brothers and sisters because you don't know what that seed we, we create. And, and for us, we've, we don't, we're not creating a seed. No. We've already got a plantation of things that we've done as brand and as brothers and sisters, as brothers. Um, but our family's coming together to unite 
aligns in regards to what you are doing as a business, to what I'm doing as a business, yeah. for us to innovate and create new products, new services for the betterment of our families. So obviously put them, put the food on the table, let's be honest, Absolutely. but also be able to support and impact the communities that we love to impact, yes. to change my, the mindset with them, with them, to be able to um, enact, envision, um, connect, and well, I think, um, uh, I think your analogy around the three things that you drive is your personal vision, your business motto, um, is a really, really good encapsulation. For me, the piece is about creating result in your life. Yeah. And I think the piece for us, for, our, um, for the MOU that we've created, um, hey, watch out everyone. I think it's going to be amazing. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, but in regards to the social and commercial impact is around, um, and, and our journey, if I can share with all our absolutely. brothers and sisters, is, is literally not just about the shake, a handshake. This is a commercial arrangement that we've gone into. Yes. To, 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 um, to add value to each other's lives yes. as brothers, um, to learn um, to embrace, to connect, yes. to empower and enable our, um, what, we, what we can do. Alone, we're great. Together, we're powerful. Very powerful. Yeah. I love that. And that, that, that was the thing. That when, yeah, what were your thoughts about no, that? No, my thoughts is, is simple, like, is similar. Yeah. And um, exactly that. I mean, it, it's been a long time coming. Our past, of course, many oh. times over the years. Like, we can go back to our 2000. Way, way back. Yeah, yeah but when, when you had dreads. Yeah. Good way. <laughs> can you believe it? I had dreads. Dreads. Good looks. <laughs> yep. Good looks, Jack. Don't laugh. Um, <laughs> is that? Um, uh, yeah, it was. It was a NADOC. It was a NADOC celebration. It was a NADOC celebration. Way back when, kids, yeah. Um, won't say where we were. Yeah. But um, <laughs> let's just say the dreadlock looked, looked pretty crazy. Heritage. Now, but, yeah. No, you should share a photo. <laughs> you should share the photo of my life. That would be amazing. Oh man. But see, that's our thing. And um, seeing our like our parts individually grown. Um, you know, I've seen the stuff that you've done, and obviously yeah, the world that I'm in. Uh, it, it, the universe and the timing is just right. Yeah, yeah, uh, and so. because the, the journey. You know, at times we can feel like we're, we're traveling alone in a silo. When, when you see um, other entrepreneurs, or other businesses out there share the same value, it, it and collaborating, it's much more a powerful front yeah, to be yeah, able to present. Uh, and you know, we we want the same thing. Our values align. Yeah, yeah, uh, we yeah. want to create that that social impact. We want to create that so. opportunity. We want to give back and lay the foundation for the path moving forward after we finish. Yeah. Just as those who laid the, the foundation for oh, us, right? So. Uh, like I say, you know, we we um, stand on the shoulders of giants. Oh, amazing. Uh, and this, this, once we announced it and put it on social, it, yeah, what went, it went, it yeah, went, nuts. it was pretty crazy, it, it was yeah, humbling, it was yeah. deadly. And you know what that told me, informed me at that particular time that in this time here with COVID, you know, in yeah. this time of so much, um, you know, uh, heavy uh, information that's out there, people are looking for positive stories, yeah. people are looking for positive movement, and posting that up, the response to it is, you can see that the, the community out there that's following us said, it's about time. I believe what we're, we're setting now we will be the new movement moving forward yeah. where people have to understand it's... Um, and we do this all the time. Like, well, like we yeah, use the yeah. analogy of culture. If you and I come in, we want to go um, hunting together, we come in as a partner, partnership. So. We go and we catch, yeah. then we come back and we divide yes. and share. That's right. And that's, that's how it works. Yeah. Uh, and what, what you're doing, which is the thing that I really like, is um, instilling the culture within your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that is something that... Um, uh, can get lost in translation when people create this. I, sh I share that journey in regards to just to um, share that, my brother, and, and so for, for your kind words, is that um, um, last year, you know, um, I know, and actually, congratulations around the, the Queensland Music Award, Thank you. Thank by the you. way. Um, if I can get a, um, a CD after that, that'd be great, brother. Um, make sure you sign in, plus. <laughs> okay, um, we can do that. <laughs> but, the, but the other piece in regards to um, uh, last year, and it's just sharing, I just want to share is that um, we have an infographic, so when we do our pictures and stuff, we share the impact that we've created. And one of the things I share at the bottom line, and you know, we've had this discussion as in jest, is that um, uh, you know, one of the, the, the first, or one of the first indigenous businesses to win a business award in Ipswich. Yes, that's right, I was gonna get to that one, but yes, unpack that one. Right, this, this so in regards a, to our impact, real... right? Yeah. So <laughs> um, if, if our um, family out there in regards to from a political environment, who comes from Ipswich? Um, that's um, so. Um, <laughs> you want to answer that your, one? Your auntie, uh, Pauline Henson. <laughs> Please um, explain. Is that we won a business award in her backyard? Yeah. What was the business, business award for? And the business award was um, innovation in business. And what was? <laughs> but what it was, was culture infusing culture into business practice. How ironic is that? It was actually a team member that actually said, "Look here, you, like." Bala, like, you should be doing this stuff. You should be getting out there. Boss, get this stuff. Get going to happening. And I said, oh, you're saying, you know, you don't want to put you out because you get all that particular piece. But 
on the night when I came up there and um, uh, my son um, come along with me, and, um, you know, proud as punch, you know, yes. um, on the journey because you want to take your kids and inspire them, you know, inspire and enable them for two. Got up there and I'm at the thing and I'm here hugging the, all the other thing and everyone's like, they, they, you know, it's all everyone's all prop and I'm here hugging the other nomination, the other nominees and all the stuff and sitting there and I'm like, I'm just happy to be there, you're proud to be there. Exactly right. And then um, the, uh, the sponsor of the actual award is the, the presenter and um, from Konica, um, Konica Monalta. And, um, and he goes, uh, and he couldn't say Tagai. He couldn't say Tagai. Well, yeah. He goes, um, and the winner is, um, the award's been awarded to, and the winner is a Tagay. <laughs> tagay Management Consultants. And now, I, I, one time, I was like, I was like, I um, and um, so I walked up there and I said, oh, and I was like blown away. So one time I'm dumpling again, not in a bad person. I was just like, it's our way, you know, thank you. You know, yes. you're deadly, you're, you're blessings. Thank the employer, pay respects to community. And I'm going, wow, eh? Wow. Indigenous business here in Switch winning an award. Oh man, that's classy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must have felt, how did you feel at that? Oh, uh, look, in regards to, because um, uh, we just do, as enablers, you know, yeah. we just do, we do what we do. Yes. Um, we know with the impact that we're creating, the, the focus around the apart, main focus around the business around the business plan was, how do I what do, what do I how do I inspire my own kids? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like you like you shared around the mechanical engineering piece, um, when I came through um, and I share I, I'm not sharing for for big note and stuff, but came through I was the first one to go to high school. I, I did grade twelve, not not a scholar by any means, um, and then went and did a degree. You know that piece, but in regards to that journey, you know that's that's it changes, it yeah. changes and stuff. So, yeah, so um, yeah, that's deadly, brother. And it, that's the thing. Like we do our, we just do the work, right? As enablers, we're out there. Awards is like something that's great when you get it, like, but it's not the thing that's on the no, forefront. We're doing for the no recognition. It's always the work, right? And that's what happened. Like when we got the Queensland Music um, Festival right. Award for um, how, how did that feel? What did you get to go to the awards ceremony? I, I, we went to the awards. Okay. I was down there for it, and I wasn't um, expecting. How was the after party? Good way. <laughs> Hush, hush. <laughs> <laughs> but with that award, like, I didn't expect it because I've been to many awards and, you know, yeah. being up there nominated, you're, you're grateful that the industry is listening or seeing and see, or watching the work that you do. And when they go my name, I'm like, what? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't you expecting it. Your first reaction was... Hey, I mean, did I hear oh, my name? Yeah, 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 right, right, really. But it was good. So we went nice up thing. there, did the expense. Uh, and that was for what? Was that a song or album? Or? For, for the single, Arrived, the Indigenous Music Award oh, for yes. Arrived, yeah, that definitely. single. And I got a shout out to Marcus Korowa, the brother there yeah, that blessed, blessed that track um, you know, with his deadly vocals. Like, um, that was in Cairns, eh? Shoddy and Cairns, Gazalies, yeah. yeah, yeah. Three Wolves as well. Got a shout out to those guys. Yeah. Um, we put the team together. Everything was Far North yes. Queensland on that track. And it, it, I think that being the first single encapsulated um, the story of what we're talking about. Yeah. That moment when you arrive to the realizations oh, and understand where um, you know exactly your purpose of what you're doing here for. Yeah. And when, when it's clear, the value, valuing the value, when it's clear, the purpose now becomes e easy, easier. Like it, that movement moving forward, yeah. um, like we are all in the one, one kennel, yeah, yeah, yeah. rowing oh, the same direction. Uh, and it just becomes more, a much that's, more that's powerful movement. That's around the MOU for us in regards yeah. to, it doesn't matter, like you shared my bolly, if I can just feed off that and um, just take that energy moving forward. Um, is that um, the idea of us collaborating together is exactly that. Yes. You know, we have, we have gifts, we're, on it, we're valuing each other as entrepreneurs, um, but it's not the basis of the, of the yarn, of, of the connection. Yes. Um, and I think everyone's so protective in their silos and their family because of the, what, what, we've, what we're, we've been experiencing, what we experienced around COVID and people and health and safety, I'm not discrediting all that, but life goes on. Yes. Do not stop. It will not move for you. Yes. Don't wait for it to come and give yourself. Yeah, there's all these, but well, that piece is around going, that's going to come to an end. It is. Yes. But um, it's around going, um, valuing each other's skills and skill sets, but also really identifying as visionaries, as enablers, because we're not watchers, Bala. Yes. We're not a watcher. We're not, we're not watching here. Nothing's going to happen here yeah. for us or our families. I think, are we the right people? No, but can we? Hell yeah. Yes. We can do it because we're allowed to do it. Absolutely. Because our forefathers gave us and mothers gave us that gift. And in regards to the MOU between our organizations, which is amazing, because we're family now, Bala. Yes. You meet family. We're around the, the one campfire. We're, in, we're building our own village. And, you know, I encourage, you know, other brothers and sisters to be able to do that too. 
at least ask the question. Approach brothers like us in, you know, in regards to um, what the journey was, but don't hide because there's a world of opportunity. Indigenous procurement policy provides a hand up, as we shared, but the big piece in regards to the wider opportunity, when you understand the value of you, the value, your value, yes. the world is your oyster. Embrace it, encapsulate it, take it on a journey. Just take a step in the sand. Wow, powerful, brother. That's, that is a jewel that you just dropped in. And we were speaking about that also with the, the pivot and life goes on. This platform was created out of all that. You yeah, know, right. Power Circle, you know, it, this idea and concept we had like uh, maybe close to a decade ago, yeah. uh, from a lot, maybe five years ago, um, where I really wanted to be able to enter, enter this space. Yeah. But in regards to a round table and yarn yes, and yeah. shared, um, celebrating, celebrating the journey, ball, journey. and that's, that's yeah. is, this is what is, what's inspiring is the fact that we don't stop and celebrate our successes. Yeah. And now I want to be able to do that with you, you know, and yeah. all the brothers and sisters who's going to sit there across from me, I'm celebrating the platform and, uh, you know, acknowledging the journey saying, I see you, yeah. you know, I, I know we hear you now. Amazing. The value, we want to be able to magnify that and give a platform where you can give that jewel back to our community of followers. Yeah. And that this is why it was created. And out of COVID, and that's, that, was, yeah, right. um, that, that gave me the force, that moment to stop, because, you know, we're always moving. Exactly. Stop, look at it, and say, let's just do it. Right, you know? right. And I mean, there's so many segues in regards to the, the opportunity, what, you, what you're creating here, not just for our people, but also it puts them on a platform to potential clients. Absolutely. That's um, business, right? So in yeah. regards, to, you can see that the opportunity is really great, but around the platform, I, you know, I celebrate what you are doing. The, the piece for me around the, um, um, I think it's a really great example, my brother, and if I can share, and it's, um, um, and I'm sharing from, from my heart, is that um, it's also our brothers and sisters breaking down the barrier to celebrate themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely, brother. To go and, um, to be able to come to you and go, could I come on there? And I think that is, is that is that, a, is that can that, someone can I do want. that? Or? Absolutely. Yeah, right. I mean, hit us up like you know, DM us, you know, yeah, right. uh, and how, do they, how do they do that? Well, you can go to um, uh, mouthpower.com, send an email by Facebook, Mouthpower, um, yeah, right. my Mouthpower Facebook page, uh, or my personal page, man. Right? Yeah. Any any way you can reach me, just just drop a line, yeah, and nice. we want to be able to um, invite that. Uh, these people on the program. Right. I, I believe they got much, a lot of value to share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one goes segue, but I know we can yarn all day. Yeah, yeah, but I will co come for the last question, my brother. If you can um, uh, give um, to our listeners out there the jewel of your one value that you hold close to your heart that carries you through this journey. Yeah. Um, really great question, Bola. Um, stay, tr stay, stay true to your passion. Whatever the hell that is. Yeah. Because um, sometimes, even in our darkest moments, whether you're in business or you're in employment, if the passion, if, there's an, if there isn't a bonfire, you know, we share about the fire. Um, I shared it with you, well, my fires turn from orange to blue. Yes. Because in the entrepreneurial piece, it's not because it's a shirt I'm wearing, by the way. I'm not trying to share that. But in regards to the, the hottest flame is a blue flame. Yes. And it's more intense now, regardless of the challenges. Um, and um, own, embrace your passion, um, and own it, and then drive with it. My brother, thank you very much for coming to this program. You, Man, gracing us here on the black table. <laughs> deadly, deadly. <laughs> you like that, the black table? Bala. Yeah, I don't know. We're very small Dutch here, too, but... Um, <laughs> yeah. Come on <laughs> so we want to see with... Um, so in regards to products, do you want um, coasters? Do you want to... Um, we yeah, can, logo yeah, Coasters and stuff. I think we need to talk about that. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Somebody sponsor us some coasters, man. <laughs> No, it's been great having you on this program, yeah, Bala, well, and I celebrate your journey. Yeah, thanks uh, a lot. If anybody wants to get in touch with you, how can they, um, you know, um, look you at up? the um, uh, website's um, www.tagaimc.com. Yeah. Um, if you go through there, it's obviously you can just connect in regards to the inquiry there. Otherwise, come on our Facebook page. This is Tagai Management Consultants. Um, we're on Instagram under Tagai MC. Um, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, we're on LinkedIn. <laughs> I love that uh, platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sponsor um, me, LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in regards to Tagai <laughs> Management Consultants, oh, you want to talk to LinkedIn? Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk to, we'll, 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 we'll see what great that happened in regards to our partnership. Fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we'll, we'll evolve this. Yeah, we'll too evolve good, my this. But um, uh, if I can just share, um, don't just look at us um, in regards to, and if I can share and, and leave the gem for, um, for our, for what we're doing as family is that 
Um, don't hold back. Just ask the damn question. Yes. Just ask the question. You're allowed to ask the question, families, you know, our brothers and sisters out there. You can change. Yeah, but it's up to you. It's up to you for making. Too yeah. good. Anyway, that's all. That's all. Well, guys out there, Power Circle, you've heard from Balamari Sailor, Deadly Tagai Management Consultants. Now, for you guys, follow us, you know, join us, subscribe to this YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Facebook, milepower.com um, forward slash Facebook post slash milepower99 uh, and hit us up, check out milepower.com, we'll give you all the information. Man, we're trying to build a community to inspire each other, empower each other. And you have been with Power Circle from the Black Table and Bala Power. Stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay connected. That's all.